and welcome back to the channel. Today, we start controlling our K4D laser with a Raspberry Pi. That's right. Up to this point, I've been controlling my K4D with a laptop like any normal person would. The problem I found with that is that I'm scared to do anything else like any other work on my laptop while I'm cutting a project. So uh, I needed to do something and that something is adding a Raspberry Pi. Now to do this, it's really simple. Uh, all you need is a Raspberry Pi. We'll be using a Raspberry Pi 4 for this one. Uh, the power supply for the Raspberry Pi, uh, a um, USB cord to connect to the uh, laser cutter, uh, and a mouse and keyboard like you normally would. Now it's going to be really simple to get this all done. Uh, all you have to do once you get your Raspberry Pi up and running, which I'll show you what to do, um, you're going to pull up YouTube on the Raspberry Pi and you can just copy and paste all these uh, commands and such right from there. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The first place we need to go is to raspberrypi.com slash software. This is where we're going to be able to download the imager for the Raspberry Pi. Just click on download for Windows or Mac OS or whatever it is that you're using. It only takes a few minutes for it all to happen. Real quick and simple. There we go, and this little guy will pop up right here. And we're going to choose the OS that we're going to use, which is going to be the newest version of Raspberry Pi. And the storage, which is going to be the SD card. And we're going to hit write. It's going to ask you if you want to wipe out any information that was on that SD card. You're going to click yes, and it's going to write to it. Uh, the writing process will take uh, 15 minutes or so. And uh, I sped this all up so that you didn't have to sit here and watch a status bar or me talking about a status bar. Here in a second it'll be done, and it'll say that we can eject the SD card. All right, now that we have our uh, SD card, let's go ahead and get it into the Raspberry Pi and get it running. Okay, so now you're starting up your Raspberry Pi for the first time with the new SD card. First thing it's going to ask you to do is set up the country. For me, it's the U.S. and uh, on the eastern east coast. And you're going to click U.S. Use English language and U.S. keyboard. Uh, if you don't do that, it'll use the British keyboard, which from what I understand has a couple keys in different spots. Um, after that, you're going to set up your Wi-Fi network. So click on to your set up, put in your password and all that good stuff, and it'll connect to it. There we go. Now once it's connected to your Wi-Fi network, it's going to ask you to update the software. You're going to click next and wait. Um, this is probably going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. I, of course, here have sped it up so that you don't have to watch status bars. And again, me talking about status bars. Once it's done installing the updates and such, it'll say that it's up to date and it'll ask you to restart the, the Pi. Now that the Pi has restarted, now we're gonna actually get to go ahead and put K40 Whisperer onto the Pi. Now to do that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull up scorchworks.com and uh, go to their downloads page. So that's in the Chrome browser, pull it up, there you go. And we're going to go ahead and right click on the newest version and select copy link address. Once we've done that, now we're going to pull up our uh, terminal window and do the rest of the work here. Okay, so now the first thing that we need to do is get the source code. So wget and then paste that source code link that we just put in there. There we go, hit enter. There we are. Now we need to go ahead and uh, unzip that folder. So we're gonna go ahead and unzip K40 Whisperer dash 0.59 zip, and it'll unzip that folder. From here, we actually have to get into the folder 
And so with that, we're going to use the command cd k40 whisperer. And that puts us in there. And now we have to download the requirements and such to that uh, folder. So these next couple can take a few minutes for them to happen. Uh, the first one here is going to be the sudo app get and then all these all this language. Just copy and paste it from the description. It makes it makes life a lot easier. This one usually takes a couple minutes, not too bad. Uh, the next one will take a little bit. Uh, that is pip install dash requirements, and from there, you know, you're getting uh, Inkscape and all that good stuff to download into the Pi. So it can take uh, like 15 minutes. This, of course, again, sped up to make it easier to watch. From there, we just need to get the USB to work. So we're going to do sudo pip install Pi USB. And that is so that the Pi and the K40 will actually talk to each other. And that's it. So let's try it out. We're going to go ahead and do sudo python k40 whisperer.py. And what that's going to do is going to start the program. There you go. You can see it popping up on the side of the screen there. I'll bring it in here and we'll check it out. Okay, so we've got everything all set up now. Everything's downloaded. We've been able to pull it up onto the, uh, um, on the Raspberry Pi for K40 Whisperer. Now I've gone ahead and we've turned on the uh, laser and also hooked the uh, USB up to the uh, Raspberry Pi. And now we're gonna hit initialize cutter and see if we're working. We got movement, so. Yep, so here we go. We can hit the arrows and let's move it around. Nice. So, success. Okay, so now let's make it easier to access the program. We're going to go to Preferences and down to Main Menu Editor. That'll take a second to pop up. There we go. Bring it into screen so you can see it. And we're going to hit New Item. Uh, from here, you're going to go ahead and name that item, which, of course, probably should be K40 Whisper. I mean, I guess you could name it like Potato Chip if you want, but let's put K40 Whisper in there. And then under Command, again, grab the link from the description and paste that in there. There we go. And hit OK. Now that's going to put us here in the menu. There we go, K40 Whisperer, and start right from there. Okay, so we've uh, opened up just a little simple knob, which is just a polygon, and uh, we're gonna check it out and see what happens. We're gonna turn on our little thing, little pump, we'll cut it out. cut it. Now one thing you may have noticed here um, as I've started up uh, the K40 Whisperer is that it does say here that it was unable to load PyClipper library so offset trace outline will not work without it uh, and uh, I don't know where that would be at on K40 Whisperer anyway. Uh, if you uh, go to tools there is a trace design boundary and you can hear it um, that that will still work. I'll trace the boundary. Yes, yeah, so you can hear it over there. It just traced the outline of it anyway. So I don't know what that uh, that offset trace outline is for, um, but uh, the tracing of the outline works. So if anybody knows, leave a comment on, in the uh, message in the comments on that, and we'll uh, keep it going. So the last thing to do to the Pi is to mount it somewhere. And I think 
right there is a good spot. So um, I'm gonna end up getting another USB um, because this one's like six feet long and it literally has to go three inches. Um, so I'm gonna mount it right there. Have the uh, HDMI and the power going straight out the back there. And it's nice and out of the way. So some double-sided tape that's sitting right there. I'll fix that right up. So it was that easy. Um, if you have a problem with uh, it not wanting to do something, try redoing the image and doing it again. Um, so I, I, that was actually the third time that I put it on this because I wanted to make sure I got it to work and then I could film it and all that good stuff. And uh, I had did actually have an issue when I went to go do the filming. So uh, um, I put it on there again, works fine. Um, but uh, so you may just need to go back in and try it again. Um, no big deal though. It works, really happy with it. Now it frees up my laptop for doing other stuff while I'm cutting uh, and, and hey, fun times. All right, on to the next one. Thanks for watching.